M0FXB, let's set up our Alance HD1 to do APRS, but using the radio, not the software. So the first thing you want to do is get it into VFO mode or frequency mode. Channel mode two. Frequency mode. That's frequency. Then type in the frequency of your hotspot or repeater. So mine is 431550. Then go menu. Go down to band A set. Select menu. We don't need zone. GPS, we need that on, and we do have a lock. If you look now, there's a tiny little planet up there, and it's there's no red line over it, so it means we do have a lock. Let's go back. We'll do receive info, we'll turn it on. TX info, we'll turn it on. We won't do step. Oh, power, yeah, let's do high, because we're going to do that out and about. Vox, we don't need. Keep going. Wide, narrow, no. Timeout, no, keep going. Channel name, no, because we're on a VFO mode. Shift up, we don't want any shifts because we're, sim we're, we're simplex, but if you were using a repeater, you'd need a shift. You just select it and then you put in the shift. Color code, we've used one. DMR mode, simplex. Every time I select, I'm pushing the menu button. DMR slot. Two we've used, and then you confirm. So you would select there and then confirm, and it says confirm to you. Promiscuous is off for now. Radio ID should already be in there. You do need a DMR number and a ham radio call sign. Contact, we've selected private APRS, and I'll show you how to be able to do that. Okay, let me just check I didn't miss anything. And then we'll show you the contact. The reason you need the contact is because that is the actual talk group you're going to use. Yeah, so we can back Cancel. out now. Cancel. Now just press the menu button once. Menu. Go down until you get to contact, which is number six. Press contact. We're only using, just press contact again with the menu button. And type, press it again. And this is where you'll be able to type in the number. So you see the arrows go down to the end and then use the red button to delete all the way back if you want and then use the keypad to type the number and then confirm we're not quite ready yet now we need to go down one and we need to choose private now if it was a normal talk group like talk group 91 you would choose group so click menu and then turn the knob or go up and down to private for aprs but for normal click group okay but we're going to select private confirm then go down, we do need to name it because it's easier to find it. So we'll go down to name and we can name it again. Go forward with the up and down arrows, delete with the red button. And then when you're ready, confirm. And there's more to do, but we don't need to add that for now. So we'll go back, we've, we've managed to do that now. So now what would happen is when you do create your channel, go menu, down to band A set, menu, and you're going down through all the settings. When you do select the contact thing, which is so important, you'll be able to select it because that is your talk group. You see, if you click confirm and you can go choose, the best place to choose is to go to priority. So go to priority and then this is where you should be able to choose the different contacts that you've got in your radio by turning the knob or going up and down. So we want private, okay? So we've selected that and then save. Now go back out. So now you're actually, and if, if you TX, you're going to see the next part of the video where I do a TX and you see me live TXing um, with the radio out, out in the garden and showing up on APRS FI. For this to work, you do need a GPS lock. There's a tiny little planet up here and you can check that. Just press menu once. Menu. And then go up backwards, look, to GPS, number nine menu. And then you'll see local GPS, press it. And if you're getting this info, it means you have got a GPS lock. Cancel, cancel. Now you can do the rest. So you, you saw the live TX um, using my HT, and now the rest of the video is about setting it up using the software on your PC. Bye for now. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's set up APRS on our Alance HD1. We are going to need some help 
from our PyStar hotspot and Brandmeister. And we're also going to need a GPS lock. Let me show you how to get the GPS lock on your Alance HD1. So you will need to have a GPS lock. Now we've got one here. How do we turn it on? To turn on, press menu, then go down to band A set and click band. Now go down one to GPS, press menu, and then select with the up and down arrows on or off. So we want it on, select on, then confirm. Then go back. Once you've got the planet Earth showing right at the top there, it's very small, it's a li tiny little blue planet Earth, then you do have a lock. When you haven't got a lock, there will be a red circle with a line through it. So now let's look at our location. We'll go menu once, then just go down to GPS and select confirm. And then local GPS means it's going to show you your location. Click confirm and there's my location. If we then go back and look down, go what down one to receive GPS, that's if someone has an, um, a GPS transmitter, and I'll test it on my 878, and they can send you their GPS coordinates. We just go back out, and we are now ready to set up APRS on, in, within our code plug. Let's go and have a look. Now let's set up our Brandmeister. So what we'll do is we'll log in as normal, click M0FXB, go to self-care. We go to a full screen here. Now just basically copy my settings. It's Chinese radio, English. Normally you would use M0FXB-9. You type what, what you're gonna see here. I could add the word Andreas if I want. Like so. Uh, so that's JPRS text. Icon, I've chose a man. Everything else is selected to off, and then just save. Okay, so that's your settings in Brownmeister. It's free to set to get an account with Brown, Brownmeister. On our hotspot, just go to configuration, and just remember and set the frequency that you're going to put in the radio, the same as your hotspot. And we're just using a simplex hotspot here. And if we go down, I have enabled APRS host enabled. I just slid that across and the rest I've left as default, although mine does say Europe, London time and dashboard language. Now let's move over to the code plug, but go back to dashboard. As you can see on my dashboard, I have TX. Now I'm using the, the talk group number 460999 because that's in a video made by Alens, and you'll see it says uh, GPS and when I, when I do transmit and no one else is talking here um, it does say DMR data here of course use your call sign for the APRS call sign so let's open up our code plug we'll go to channel here on the left it says channel and these are my channels now I tend to write my own code plugs with just the channels that I know I'm going to use rather than having hundreds and hundreds of channels so the bottom one here is APRS. So the frequency here is the same as my hotspot. So we're simplex, so it's 431.550 RX TX. We've selected digital, we don't need tone. The power's low, but I'm guessing that if you were out and about, you'd want to use high power. Scan, I've selected add, I've named the channel APRS, and let's click a bigger window. And hopefully, if you copy my settings, this yours should work as well. Mine's working now. So, channel name, frequency, digital, low power, timeout. I've set to one eighty. There it's set. There it is. Scan ad there. Simplex. Simplex. I've selected slot one. Color code one. Now the actual chat contact you create is important. Look. So you'll select on here priority and then a contact called APRS. I've selected here GPS time and report TX contact also APRS. You look there and then we've ticked these boxes GPS, receive GPS info, send GPS info and we've got GPS timing as 60. Then go over to contacts. And you might need to actually do this first. 
to be able to select it in the channel. Go to Priority Contacts. And then here's where I've added the contact. Now, I've cr it's a private call I've created. I've called it APRS, and I've used the number that Alent's used, 460999. There you go. So you need to do that. I also created a new zone. So double-click Zone here at the top. The zone window appears, and I, you could just put it in an existing zone, but I, I just clicked here, 9, typed the word APRS. The APRS channel that I had already created appeared in the available channels list, so I just sent it across here. So if I send it back, there it is there. It appeared like that. I selected it, and I just sent it across. And of course, you can add more than one APRS channel. This is for testing. And this is so that when you turn the radio on and you select the zone, that there's just one APRS channel in there. And that makes it easier just for APRS testing. Now, some people do create receive groups. If you click here, but it's not something I ever do, where you can add other channels into that same receive group. And then when you're using APRS, you will hear other channels, but I've never done that. Now send that to your radio. I would save that configuration. Then say, send it to your radio. Just go device. Actually check your port. Mine is 10. How do you check? You just go right click. Device manager. Of course connect your USB cable. Double click. And then you've got COM10 there. at CH340. And then click device. And then write to radio. Hopefully no errors. So back on the radio, you want to select the correct zone that you created. Just go menu, down to band A, menu again, select zone. Then we'll go up to the one that we called APRS. Confirm, back out. You're now on APR on the APRS zone and you'll see that your little logo for GPS is initially would have a little red circle but wait for that lock and once you've got that lock then it's just a matter of TXing you'll see it's private and there's the number there fingers crossed you'll be on APRS FI in no time so okay give it a test try it out hopefully you'll show up on APRS FI like I am here if you look on the left I'm showing up and uh, yeah catch you on air thanks for watching my channel please remember to like or subscribe. I think the Alens HD1 is a, it's a good radio, a fun radio. It's a budget radio, um, but it works well on so many things. Bye for now, 7-3.